Hey, good morning everybody, it's Mike. Thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. Hey, as we get started today, uh, our new full-time videographer is on staff and has started today, Quentin Cole. So when you get a chance, I hope you'll stop by. Quentin will be hanging out with Rob Hamilton most of the day today, but stop by and say hello to Quentin and get to know him a little bit. I think he's going to be a great addition to our team. And you know, we're, we're in the middle of this 100-day challenge because... Uh, because we know that what James Clear says in his book, Atomic Habits, is absolutely true. That if you change your habits, you change your life. I mean, for most of us, just getting from where we are to where we want to be, just imagine that. Where do you want to be? What would that feel like? How would things be different for you? And what we know is this, that the difference, the gap between where you are right now and where you want to be and whatever part of your life that might be, is just a matter of changing our daily habits. Change your habits, you change your life. So, so far we've issued about 20 different challenges, business and personal, and I hope you've sunk your teeth into some of them. All of them? Well, I think that's probably a little bit much. But the ones that would be important to you, both on the business side and on the personal side, I hope you've taken up the challenge and are working towards it every day. Today, I want to do something a little bit different. Instead of challenging yourself today, let's challenge somebody else. One business and one personal challenge. For business, here's what I want to ask. I want to ask if you'll approach another agent in our office and just ask them this. What's the number one thing? What's the number one thing? Just one. What's one thing you could change in your business that would move you closer to your goal? Only one. Not a whole long list. Just the top. Well, I have a number of things. We'll pick the most important one. What's that one thing? that you could change in your business that would move you closer to your goals. Find another agent in the office, have that conversation with them. For personal, approach somebody in your life. It could be a friend, it could be a family member. Approach someone in your life and ask them, if you could wave a magic wand, what would be the one change you would like to make in your life that doesn't involve money? Friend or family, if you could wave a magic wand right now, what would be the one change you would make in your life that doesn't involve money? And then listen to what they say. Listen to them. And don't settle for easy, non-specific uh, answers. Oh, well, you know, I'd like to lose some weight. Well, great. How would you do that? How would you do that? Dive a little bit deeper with them. Probe a little bit. Well, I'd like to stop drinking. Great. How would you do that? What would that do for you? If you were to able to lose weight, or stop drinking, or stop smoking, or whatever, whatever it is, whatever that one change is, what would that do for you? What would that feel like? Now when you ask these questions, you have to be quiet and let them answer it. And you have to mean it. If this sounds like some kind of quick, hey, let me ask you this question real quick. What, what's the one thing you'd like to change here? No, slow down and be sincere about it. Look them in the eye. If you could change one thing, if you could wave a magic wand and change one thing in your life, what would that thing be? Well, you know, I just like to feel better every day. How would you do that? Well, I probably need to lose some weight. Great. How much weight do you think you need to lose? Well, 20 pounds. Okay, great. How would you do that? Well, I'd probably need to cut out the fast food. What would you replace it with? Well, you know, maybe I bring my lunch and, and start preparing meals in advance, like on Sundays. Great. If you did that and you lost the weight, what would that do for you? How would that feel? 
and now you're going to start getting into all the benefits. Probe a little bit. And then when they're done, and only after they're done, both on the business and the personal side, don't interrupt them. Let them get it all out. Have a conversation with them. Then tell them yours. What's the one thing you would like to change in your business that would get you closer to your goals? What's one thing if you had a magic wand? What's the most important thing you would change in your life that doesn't involve money? Don't let them get away with the money. Well, you know, I'd like to win the lottery. Oh, come on now. It was a sincere question. Give me a sincere answer. After they've told you theirs, tell them yours. Then, now here's your challenge for today. Then, and only then, ask them if they would work with you to challenge each other in those areas through the end of this year. Ask them if they'd work with you to challenge each other in those areas through the years. And then check in with each other daily. You know, last fall, a good friend of mine and I, we both have rowing machines at home. And we decided that to get in a little bit better shape, we would have a rowing challenge. And we decided what the parameters would be, how long, and each, it started out to be each week the goals would get re reset, but then our competitiveness kicked in and then uh, it started being daily. Uh, and I would have to text him a picture of my screenshot of my rowing machine and he would have to text me a picture of his every morning. And if you didn't do that, something terrible that we never decided what that would be would happen because we never needed to decide it because the, uh, the accountability between each other was so high that it was unthinkable not to do it. And there were a couple of times when one of us would reach out to the other and say, hey, I've got this going on tomorrow. Not sure if I'm going to be able to get my row in. And then on those days, that's what got. So if I did that with him, he would say, come on, dude, man up. You can get up 30 minutes earlier and get that done anyhow. You're just making excuses for yourself. And I would go, yeah, that's right. Okay. So I did it when I might not have done it anyhow. On both the personal and the business question, ask them if they would work with you to challenge each other in those areas through the end of this year. And then check in each other with each other daily. Set up some system of checking in with each other. Find somebody, find another agent, and ask them the business question. Find somebody in your network, either friends or family, and do the same thing with them. And let them help you as you help them. And if we were to do that today, that's how we go out and make it happen for ourselves.